Well, today I've got a special guest here on the show with me. His name is Greg Ulmer. And so let's see here. What was it that got you or you and Tia first interested in real estate investing? What drew you to it? I think we're we we're always interested in real estate investing, even with our, our house, our first house, we were, you know, redoing the design of it and everything. So we always had an interest in real estate. And over the years, we, um, you know, we dabbled here and there. And then finally, in uh, 2010, we went seriously, you know, part time constantly since then. So we've been in real estate investing uh, consistently since 2010. OK. Now, this recent deal you did right there that's a buy and hold, are you doing all buy and holds now? Or are you doing buy and hold and, you know, buy and sell? Or uh, what are you all focusing on these days? Well, right now, because of the, the area that we're in, we're going to start focusing on um, buy and flips or buy and sell. Okay. It. So because um, there's lots of movement, lots of real estate in this area. So we're going to focus on that. But if uh, a buy and hold comes along, the numbers work. We will do that. There you go. Excellent. So, um, so here, I'm going to shoot you one here from the hip. So here it comes. <laughs> All right. So what would you say is, you know, given yours and Tia's experience, what would you say is one of your all's biggest mistakes or lessons learned from uh, doing deals uh, in the past? Okay. Um, that would probably be with our first property. It was also a, a buy and hold. Um, we were going to save money, um, you know, being kind of cheap, you know, and also inexperienced with real estate. I am having some skills to do, um, do repairs. So we, that's what we did. We went down, we did repairs, pull up carpet, paint, strip, uh, you know, drywall. I mean, uh, repair drywall, pull off the, uh, wallpaper after wallpaper after wallpaper layers. And layers. <laughs> <laughs> we, it was a lot of work. We went, you know, many long nights. And we hired subcontractors and, you know, for some parts of it. But the main thing was that it took so long to do um, paying the, the all the holding costs. It just really cut into the profit of the deal. And so now we're, we're like, OK, it's, it's good to have a good contractor, especially so that especially since that we're still working, they're able to go and handle the, the business and we can um, operate and talk with the general contractor. So that's the key. Awesome. Awesome. It was, a, it was a painful and expensive learning. <laughs> well, you know, I tell people, you know, you're going to pay for your education one way or the other. <laughs> and it's, 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 it's a lot, um, it's a lot less expensive to join hips with somebody that has been doing the business than, you know, what you just said reminds me of this, Greg. I remember some time ago, um, a student at one of my events raised her hand and they said, well, I just love to rehab my own houses. They said, rehabbing my own houses is like therapy to me. And you know what I said to them? I said, anybody that rehabs their own houses needs therapy. That's oh, what I say. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's, it's not the way to go. <laughs> well, that is good advice. Uh, yeah. Uh, sub it out or, or, or work with the uh, general contractor rather. Now you and Tia working in the business together, husband and wife team, um, what would you, what kind of advice would you give to our viewers and listeners that uh, either, you know, has a significant other or they are married, uh, they're in a relationship and they want to do both, both parties want to be working together in real estate investing. What advice would you give them? Okay. Um, I would say, first of all, realize that you the relationship comes first. And that to maintain that relationship, you have to have things in order. So I had to, I take a part of one uh, half of the business and she covers the other half of the business. And you have to respect those boundaries. Um, you know, you have the tendency, or at least I do, to, to look and say, oh, well, did you think about this and this and that? Let them, you know, do their part of the business. And it's just, it's just human nature to uh, to want to be involved in and control all aspects. But you, tr you trust your partner. They do a good job. You communicate with one another. We, we have meetings every morning. We talk about what went on, what we plan to do for the day, um, and what we're, what things uh, happened overnight. 
so that we can move forward. So yeah. Must, so, must so share with us, and I know this will vary between you know different people, but uh, what are what are some of the areas of the business that you handle, and what are some areas that Tia handles? Mm -hmm. Well, Tia handles the acquisitions. So, you know, she runs the foreclosure system and well, she manages the foreclosure system. We have uh, virtual assistants. She manages the foreclosure systems and um, talking with the, the sellers and also the buyers of houses when we go to sell, when we go to sell the houses. So um, I'm focusing on raising the private money. So, you know, I'm there at the, doing the private lending seminars. I'm doing the, you know, the webinars, the luncheons and uh, talking to people, going around, uh, networking with people and, and helping them, uh, giving them referrals and they give me referrals. So it's a, it's a win-win proposition. Okay, excellent, excellent. Um, what would you say would be, what would be the best advice that comes to mind for a new real estate investor that's just getting started and you know, they, they just start, just starting to think, they're just starting to think about getting into real estate investing. Um, what advice comes to mind? The first thing was to get some knowledge, you know, find out about real estate investing and most importantly, get a mentor or get a team to work with because um, going out there alone, thinking it just by watching TV or having a friend that does it, that's going to help you part time. That's not it. You need a full time uh, mentor that's going to hold you accountable and you need a process that you're going to follow. So gaining knowledge, following the process and getting to it. You know, a lot of times we, have, especially in my profession and my wife's profession, um, you know, we're very analytical people. And so studying and studying and knowing and knowing, you have to get down and do it. You learn more from doing it and get the experience from that. So that's that would be my advice. Absolutely. Well, it's good advice. In fact, it's excellent advice. I wish I had been given that advice when I started 15 years ago. <laughs> Same totally. I, I concur. I concur. Yeah. Because, you know, uh, the first year we were in the business, I only did three deals, okay? Um, and I did it by reading books and my lands, how much more profitable I would have been if I had gotten the knowledge, you know, and, and gotten that foundation.